Hi, welcome to Forge Drops. This is Lilian Silva. I'm the Forge Specialist at Clemson Universe. And today I'm talking about nutrient recycling on pastures on this Forge Drops video. So let's get started. So in general, I do like to think about the soil as a uh, bank account which requires maintenance as any other uh, our uh, accounts. So we do have an amount of nutrients that are available there. And if we're taking some out, we need to be thinking about how the uh, dynamics of nutrient recycling will be uh, and if um, how much we are going to need to be replenishing. And that's going to be involving getting uh, soil samples uh, routinely, but also thinking about building that soil organic matter and replenishing those nutrient levels that uh, should be in a cert certain range of the soil, at least at the target range on your soil reports. And uh, also building uh, that pH to the range that should be for the forages that you're using, uh, especially if you're going to be establishing a new forage and you have a really low pH, you need to be make, make sure that you are at the, the proper pH before establishing a um, new forage on a given area. So the management that we're going to be doing, it's going to be affecting uh, the, the nutrient levels, the, the pH that's going to be there. And also uh, we are able to be working on enhancing that soil nutrient pools and the health of the soil by improving those management uh, practices that we're going to be doing and improving the quality of the forage and uh, even the diverse of the forage uh, through them helps with building up that soil uh, structure, the soil uh, nutrient dynamics, and uh, that's what really it's something that we need to be working on. So when we are thinking about nutrient uh, cycling, we're thinking about this portion here in the middle, but we do need to be thinking about what are the imports, so the fertilizer that we're putting there, uh, or the if we're using legumes, or if we have the animals grazing, uh, that manure, that uh, urine will also be imports to that system that's going to be replenishing those nutrients and then we will have the exports with are the animals that we're selling the hay that we're selling or the losses that we're going to have on a given area so when we are going to think about improving that distribution and that nutrient recycling we need to be thinking about uh, management practices that we're going to be doing throughout the year and uh, that involves for example the the way that we're feeding the animals in the pasture so if you are feeding hay on, uh, on fall and winter months just moving the rings uh, or uh, the place that you're enrolling the bale uh, to rotate throughout the area, it's going to be something that helps with that nutrient distribution because animals tend to concentrate on the, on the areas surrounding um, the feeding areas, surrounding the water areas. So uh, that's going to be helping with that uh, nutrient management that we're going to be doing. And also something that we can consider is to be feeding the animals on fall and winter months on the poorest uh, pastures that we have. So we are going to be able to distribute that nutrient on those uh, pastures uh, a little more and really be working towards improving that uh, fertility uh, on that period of time. And uh, something that is really important uh, for the management uh, for the system because it's going to be a uh, thing, uh, it's going to be impacting both the forage responses, but also the soil. Uh, nutrient um, dynamics and accumulation and also the response that the animals will have in terms of performance is how we are going to be managing that grazing on, uh, on grazing systems. So adopting rotational grazing is a tool that can help really, uh, can work really well on a system and can help with uh, removal of that, um, that forage 
more uniformly or uh, even just having a better timing for when we have a good balance between uh, distribution, between accumulation of forages and also the quality of the forage that we're having there, but also will help with the redistribution of the excreta on a given area and then uh, with the regrowth uh, period that we're going to give the plant to uh, rest, it's going to allow that nutrient to be recycled and uh, be used on the forest. So using rotational management uh, for, for your grazing uh, paddocks, your grazing pastures will be really a, a uh, ally that we can use for optimizing the persistence, the, the longevity of the pastures, but also uh, how we are going to be improving that nutrient recycling on the system. With that, I conclude what I had for today. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to my email here on the screen. Thanks so much for watching this Forage Drops, and I hope to see you on the next.